keep me undetectable. For adults who are undetectable, Cabinuva is the only complete long-acting HIV treatment you can get every other month. Cabinuva is two injections given by my healthcare provider every other month. It's really nice not to have to rush home and take a daily HIV pill. Don't receive Cabinuva if you're allergic to its ingredients or if you're taking certain medicines which may interact with Cabinuva. Serious side effects include allergic reactions, post-injection reactions, liver problems, and depression. If you have a rash and other allergic reaction symptoms, stop Cabinuva and get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if you have liver problems or mental health concerns, and if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or considering pregnancy. Some of the most common side effects include injection site in a league of their own, the NBC4i team, getting results for you. NBC4 News at 4 starts now. And we begin with our coverage of Decision 2022 and new numbers expected to be released at any moment for L.A. County. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. Thank you for being with us. Michael is off today. You're looking live right now at the L.A. County Registrar's Office in Norwalk, where they're counting the mail-in ballots as we speak. Let's get right to NBC4's Conan Nolan, who's live in our newsroom with more. Conan. That's right, Jonathan. They're working throughout Veterans Day. They'll work through Saturday and Sunday up until, well, until they get them counted. Now, remember, uh, the, uh, the number of mail-in ballots was absolutely staggering, although they're sort of used to it by now. There's a possibility that actually more people voted by mail this time than even during the pandemic. We shall see. But in any case, hundreds of thousands to count. This is where we stand in the race for Mayor Rick Caruso's lead has been cut uh, substantially. At this point, though, in the June primary, Karen Bass was ahead. Uh, this, I think, speaks to the Caruso campaign's effort at a field office, that is, getting down to getting people out to vote or making sure they voted by mail and trying to target those who hadn't voted in the June primary but were very receptive to his campaign. The Bass people think, though, they're on the right trajectory. They're eating into that lead. They believe the next batch should show them ahead. That's their that's their feeling. The Caruso campaign and Rick Caruso himself saying he remains cautiously optimistic. In the race for sheriff, this is a done deal. Robert Luna is going to be our next sheriff. Uh, this is with about 60 percent of the ballots reporting. And again, just like in the race for mayor, we're not sure where the uh, where the uh, ballots are from that have yet to be cast. So we're not sure about Robert Luna's uh, strength in the South County, that area. But that's way too much for Alex Villanueva to ha have to uh, get over. And in fact, the last uh, data dump, his number ticked down his percentage. So this is pretty much a done deal. A couple of House races that could determine which party runs the U.S. House of Representatives. Democrats desperately try to hang on to Katie Porter's seat in the 47 district. That's uh, Huntington Beach, Costa Mesa, as well as uh, Irvine. Scott Bob, former Republican assemblyman. Uh, he, they spent a ton of money on this campaign. He's trailing, but you still have 40 percent. And once again, we don't know where the ballots are coming from that have yet to be counted. And they could be in a Republican stronghold. We're not sure. Other races to look out for in the House, the 41st, Ken Calvert, 30-year incumbent, Riverside. This is his toughest race. Democrats wanted to flip this. They're a lot closer than a lot of them thought they'd be. Will Rollins, a former federal prosecutor, uh, coming close. Still, again, not sure what remains out. If it's the Coachella Valley, which is new to the district, that could help Will Rollins uh, over, overcome the deficit right now. That's his strength. And finally, in uh, Orange County, a deep Orange County, this race close. Mike Levin, the incumbent, uh, trying to hang on to, against Brian Marriott. Uh, it's trending in his direction, but again, not knowing where the dis precincts are that haven't reported, not precincts, the fact is the, the votes, because they're mail-in, you're not sure where they're from. Uh, but right now, Levin cautiously optimistic, the Republicans still trying to flip this. And remember, for the Democrats to hang on to a majority in the House, they need to keep these seats, uh, which they've done, uh, or which it appears they may be able to do, Republicans trying to flip them. Again, we should have more numbers possibly within the hour. That's the hope. Back to you. And Conan, we will come back to you as soon as those new numbers come in. Thank you again. You can also get to the latest results on our website, NBCLA.com. And if you have the NBCLA app, we send out alerts when those key races have been decided. You'll be the first to know who wins.
Well, gunshots rang out in a South L.A. neighborhood overnight with bullets striking and killing a driver. LAPD homicide detectives are now processing all of the evidence gathered earlier there. That shooting happened around 1.15 this morning along the West 69th Street uh, area near Western Avenue. Police say the man was shot multiple times. No word, though, on a motive or who's responsible. Police do say the shooter left in a white U-Haul. A Tesla was left unrecognizable after it crashed and burst into flames in Garden Grove. There were multiple efforts to try and rescue the two people who were inside. NBC4's Anusha Rasta is live at that crash site today with new details on how it happened. Anusha. Jonathan, the crash happened at this intersection, and that paint business you see across the street there has surveillance video of the moment that Tesla bursts into flames. You guys have a